when I first saw her. Walking down the aisle. I thought that she was absolutely stunning. And what a shame it was that I needed to kill her. Now bonded in matrimony. Please exchange your vows. My love, and I confess to you, I said that you're my first love. And you answered that, despite I was not your first, I would be your last. I suppose those were just pretty lies. Since you dared cheat on me. With her! Hey, yo, what? Aw, leaving already? We haven't even cut the cake. Yet. I knew. You were too pretty. Why, why, what is going on? To be human. You damn witch! Stay out of this priest! C flesh eaters! Holy frick, this is cool. Why, what? Right now, what? I only engraved two runes today. Ah! I don't think even Hubby can talk her out of the murder. Uh, do I have to use that? Uh, how dare you! Ruin my wedding! God, breathe! Oh my. Guess I needed to help after all. Ho uh, holy notes? Ah! Gah! Well, that's it. Time to get serious. Isn't that a goddamn demon? More biblically accurate one than that? Summon? No, that's a pure blooded witch? Darling, help me! Please! By the way, congrats on your wedding. <laughs> that is so cool! Oh my god. Gotta get close, Quill. Ah, oh, come now, dear. I believe my timing was impeccable as always. But since you did the hard part, I guess I'll do the paperwork this time. By the way, don't we still have 30 minutes on that rental suit? I admit, you look quite ravishing in that. Care to abolish this naughty boy's sins, daddy? Seriously? I'd rather die, Quill. Uh, a dream? Ugh, my phone. Oh, okay. Login error. We're sorry. It seems you have a simultaneous login from another uh, device. Please tell us your details so we can grant you access to your account. First, is your name Palmier? Choose your reply. Um, I'm gonna go with no. I'm guessing that uh this determines my character name. No. What's your name? It's Lion. My name is Lion. Accounts updated. And your pronouns are uh they them. And lastly, your sec account security question. What's his sister's full name? Fia Amaris Baker. Oh, Fia Amaris Baker. We have verified your account. Thank you for your patience. Oh, it's Mama. Happy birthday. Look what I found in Fia's old phone. What? Happy birthday to you. Nobody likes you. You look like an animal. Go back to the zoo. <laughs> Happy birthday, big brother. Love you. 
My heart. Damn. Okay. Cute, right? Remember it, you used to get so mad whenever she sent you those messages. Bet you missed them now. Mom. Did you stop by today? Yeah. Thanks, hon. I know it's bittersweet. The birthday being the same day she died, but try not to maul on it too much. I am mauling it now! Like frick! And again, honey, it's not your fault. You were drunk, yeah, but so was that truck driver. Did she get isekai Anyway, I cooked your favorite tonight. See you soon, okay? Love you. Um, love you too. Right, I'm supposed to go to mom's tonight. Damn, it's already 2.30. Better clean up. With a throbbing headache, you waddle to the bathroom. You knew drinking out of fate. You knew drinking out was a bad decision. Normally, you can shake off the temptation just fine. But your birthday was always a challenge, in more ways than one. While washing your face, you start to regain your senses and try to recall what happened last night. You get... Try as you might, that dream kept popping up in your head instead. What a weird dream. It was so vivid. Almost like... Like... Um... I, what is wrong with me? A memory? What the hell? Hands started to emerge from the mirror, gripping your shirt, your hair, uh, hands! Clawing at every part of you they can grab. And then, pain. You felt as if you were pulled through a small, narrow keyhole. You close your eyes and hope this is just another dream. I am getting pulled! Where did the chains come from? You fell head first to the hard wooden floor. The hard bump on your head forced you to open your eyes. Opening them, you saw a pale white figure looming over you with a sly grin on his face. Well, what do you know? It worked. The, who are you? Huh. Same voice, same height. You're a bit meatier than Lioness, but I can easily excuse that with exercise. That glimmer of hope in your eyes, though. Well, I'm sure they'll die out soon enough. Overall, you'll do. Dear Core, is there nothing I can't do? Lion, wait, how do you know my name? It's their name, actually. But I guess you two are one and the same. Glancing to your feet, you saw an unconscious body. One with a face eerily similar to yours. Wait. That's me? Ah! Don't be so dramatic! Lion is alive. Barely, but alive nonetheless. A witch got to them, you see. Told Bridezilla. Had to be burned twice to kill her. But that's Ivar's daughters for you. A witch? Wait, you're... You're the one from my dream! Am I still dreaming? Ah, so it's true. Our doppelgangers from other realms really are connected to us in our sleep. Interesting. Wonder how many people my counterpart has slept with. Ah. Tell me, do you have magic in your realm, or are you one of those unlucky few who rely on ingenuity? Magic? Like, Harry Hotter? I'm guessing that's a no, then. Shame? Well, I'm sure I can fill you in on the way. Wait, what is that? Hold your breath. Lasha! How did you? Are you always this articulate? I suppose just like Lion, you aren't much of a conversationalist. So at least that one is able to form complete sentences. Come along now. And with that, the white-haired man ran along cr across a daunting set of stairs. Wanting answers, you instinctively followed along. I can what well, uh, 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 tell me what's going on? Are you incapable of walking and hearing at the same time? I was just about to explain myself, you know. Then start talking, butthole! First off, name's Quill Inkwell, thank you very much. Anyway, long story short, it's a witch bounty gone wrong. At first it seemed easy enough. Mother of the groom didn't want her son to marry a witch. Lion rented a priest outfit. We bribed the original priest to walk away. We thought we won, but 
the witch had a few tricks up her sleeve. Things went wrong, and now my best friend is in a coma because of it. So now, I need to find a way to get them out of that coma before people catch on. And I'm here because... To cover for them, Lai and I are on our last year's Apprentice Witch Hunters. The teachers can excuse a few missed classes, sure. But a curse this complex, he'll get suspicious before he can find a cure. Lai and can't really attend classes as a vegetable now, can they? Witch Hunters... But in my dream, didn't I? I mean, they had a witch on them? Oh, you mean the black demon-like witch. The one that... The one they burned Bridezilla with. Yeah, that's their soulmate, Bond. That butthole decided it would be a good idea to bond their soul to a witch for all eternity. Soul bonding? But don't you tie your soul to your spouses until death do you part? How else would you guarantee their loyalty? I don't know. Trust? It's not like I'm suddenly gonna be a warlock with my patron being my goddamn spouse, whoever they may be. Ugh, how archaic. Well, point is, somehow my line managed to seduce a witch to bond with them. Impressive, sure? Smart. Not so much, and now Lion is in a coma for it. Wait, so their bond is the cause of their coma? Ugh, what's the last thing you saw in your dream? You calling them daddy? Uh, yeah. Well, sadly, Lion wasn't too keen on my offer, and the witch they burned wasn't as fully dead as we thought. She struck Lion with a spell, something I've never seen before. Basically, it sealed their witch bond. Half of their soul is now somewhere in oblivion. So I need to find a way to fix all this. Well, you stand in for Lion. Stand in? I barely even know what's going on, and you expect me to do magic and hunt witches? Even a monkey with a core rune engraved on them can do magic. Don't worry. Those witches aren't as hostile as the ones you saw in your dream. Ugh, what's in it for me? That's a lot of demands with very few prospects. Uh, the compensation is well worth it, darling. There's a reason I chose you, you know? After all, you miss your sister, don't you? Sister? Wait, Fia? Is she here? Is she alive? Did she get Isekai too? You'll see. In a bit oh my god, your butt! Oh! Oh my god! In the meantime, though... Welcome to Igneous Witch Hunter Academy. Right, am I supposed to click on something? No. Quite a stunner, isn't she? I'm sure you'll get acquainted with her in your own time. Can I get acquainted to your butt? It is so... It is popping! Now it's not the time to gawk, though. And I, I wanna! We mustn't be late for our first class of this semester. If there's one good thing about Lion, it's their punctuality. As you follow Quill, you can't help but notice a group of girls squealing gleefully in the archery field. He, uh, he hot? Oh my god! I, uh, whoa. I hate to be the guy that has to clean that up. Wait, is that guy staring at me? Uh, I wink. Oh, he blushed. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Quill! Lion! You can hear someone calling out to you in the distance. Quill stopped in front of you and muttered under his breath. Damn, that nosy mutt. Zane, how are you, my friend? Quill puts on a fake smile as a cherry redhead flags you down. Quill, Lion, what's up, man? How was your summer together? Lion, did those snubs at Inkwell Manor gave you any trouble or what? You notice that a man is eagerly waiting for your answer. Only you're not even sure on what answer you can give. Ah, oh, well, you know. The family was more than accommodating, thank you very much. Ha! Meaning your parents were barely home but you get the whole estate for yourselves? Naturally. Typical. Alright, Lion. It's our first time meeting this semester, so, you know, as tradition. Come put her there! Oh, uh, what? Come on now, don't be shy. Oh, okay, uh, so you managed to find yourself a date, eh? Now make sure your victim, um, <clears throat> partner doesn't die of boredom during your time together. There are three actions you can do to make the date less miserable. You can talk to them. If you found any interesting topics, you can add that to your conversation starter. You can touch them. Uh, uh, try not to be a creep about it, though. And last but not least, bribery, because there's nothing 
like a gift or two to really buy a way into a relationship. Hey, it worked for most games. Okay, so for this, I suppose I touch a hand. The high five? Oh, you worried about my old wounds. Yeah, I'll be fine. Self all four, five digits for now. Okay, uh, his shoulder? What's wrong? Come on, don't leave me hack. What do you want me to do? Whatever, you did, didn't seem to sat. Die! I'm rolling it back! Okay, so what am I supposed to touch here? Your arm? The elbows touch together, making a rather loud knocking sound. Yeah, that's what I want. What the frick? <laughs> what is this about elbows? Well, you better go change. Miss Vikov, uh, Miss Vilkov, has been even stricter about uniform than usual. Nearly cut my head off when she saw me in my usual clothes. That woman really needs a hobby. Anyway, see you at class. Good job playing along. Thankfully, Thingy Wayne is not the sharpest tool in the box. If it were Arsham, however, I'll send you a text regarding the details of a friendship. That should speed things along. Here. Cool hands you a cell phone. Not much different than your own. Same color, same size. The only difference being this one is less banged up. It's Lion's phone. I have my own phone. Wait. Ah, damn it. Must have left it in my living room. Mom. All the reason to take Lion's. You will reluctantly take the phone. Hope you can somehow contact your mother again. Right. Come along now. Let's get you into uniform. Good. Your roommate is in here. Wait, roommate? We're assigned a roommate from the younger years. This year, we're assigned with a first year, but I guess lucky for you, they're out and about somewhere. Your clothes are in the cupboard. They might be a snug fit, but they'll do. Yeah, I'll pick you up after changing yourself. I still don't know what I get out of this. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I'll be sure to send the incentive your way. Incentive? He left before giving you further explanation. God damn it! Well, I might as well get changed. While changing, you notice that your clothes reek of booze. You shouldn't have drunk so much last night. Bunning up, you notice it's a snug fit. It's not the worst thing you've worn. Man, I look sight. Not bad. I look good, really. It really accentuates my waist and chest. Hi, uh, hi, uh, hi. Uh, oh, hi, oh, uh, hi, uh, hello. A buff looking young man comes out of the bathroom. Compared to him, you're basically a. I'm a potato. A scrawny, shriveled up, rotten potato. Uh, excuse me. Are you my roommate? Uh, well, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a save. Look at those titties! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, you look great. Uh, that's what I'm saying. My name is Lita. I'm gonna load my save. Oh my god, I really shouldn't. Uh, did I just get demonetized for that? YouTube, please, please. Oh god. Oh, seems so. It seems so. Name's Lion. And you? Oh, um, Lyle. Lyle Keithan. Were you in the bathroom this whole time? Yeah, I was struggling with my outfit and didn't want anyone walk in on me. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're Lion Baker, right? The Lion Baker? Yes. Does my name mean something here? Um, then please don't kill me. What? It's not my fault. My heritage, I mean. Your heritage? You look up straight into Lyle's eyes. His eyes shine like bright embers. Your eyes. They're beautiful. What? No, they are... I, I have to go. Lyle stormed out of the room. Was this something you said? As you think, Quill bombards you with messages. Okay. Well, right, quick recap time. Okay. First off, Lyle's background. The bakers own the largest bakery chain in the land, and Lion is what most nobles consider the Novo Rich. Appearance-wise, Lion is a charming fellow. Yes, okay. Wait, you took a picture of me during, like, during the battle? Looks on the verge of death every morning, but I must say, their I'm too tired for this look really works for them. 
client is 21 and is bonded to this witch, whom they dated secretly for a month or two before deciding to be one in body and soul for all eternity. Okay, so that's the witch. Who the witch actually is and what they look like out of their witch form, I don't know. I, myself, have only discovered this big secret after they bonded. Anyway, Lion has three close friends. Okay, that's you. Okay. Starting off with yours truly, Quill Inkwell, heir of the largest witch hunting organization, the Ravens. Okay, going on. I've known Lion since kindergarten. Our families go to the same parties, though I admit my family name is far more prestigious than Lion's. Okay, and then there's that guy. Oh no, I just winked at my friend. Next is Thane Varishkova. Oh wait, hold up, no, this is Thane. Uh, he's the only vampire in the academy, besides Miss Vilkov, our combat teacher. Right? Thane may not be the brightest, but he's definitely someone you want on your side in a fight. Due to his vampire heritage, core runes react a bit differently to him. Core runes? You mean the drawing on Lion's hand in my dreams? Precisely. Those symbols enable us to do magic similar to witches, albeit in a more diluted extent. Okay. Anyway, vampires have their own church, I believe, so I never understood why he would choose to study there. Okay, and uh, I blinked at my- I just winked at my friend! Great! And of course, there's Arsham Nephis. Okay. Top of our class, the step on me, Daddy King, and your ex Oh, no! I winked at my ex! Oh! My... My ex? Why did we break up? Um, Quill? In Lion's own words, I have no use for weaklings. I'm assuming they found someone more powerful than Asham. Most likely the witch they started dating. Ow. Ouch is an understatement. Arsham was devastated. Okay. If I recall, uh, you two dated since middle school. It was about to propose a soul bond to Lion after graduation. Right. Honestly, it was quite entertaining to watch him drop his good boy facade and just sulk around campus. Okay. He's been trying to win you back for a while now. It's quite pathetic, actually. Very entertaining, though. Any other questions? Uh, well, uh, how did we all become friends? Well, for me, I assume you fell in love with my charms. Well, you are charming. I mean, like, you you really have it in the bag. Arsham, I believe you two met over a party at Sharam's party uh, the Sharam's family estate, bonded over a life and death experience or whatever. Right? Not important. If you are referring to how all four of us got along, well, you can blame detention for that. What? Okay, who's that? Was that my sister? In Fia's first year, we were protesting for girls to be allowed to wear short skirts around campus. Okay. In the beginning, our protest backfired, banning short skirts for girls and boys, since apparently they were equally stimulating. Uh, from there came a beautiful friendship. Wait, is that picture? That's Fia, right? Is she here? Of course. She's your incentive, after all. What? What do you mean? Lion, you in here? Fia? You blinked. Stunned. The music doesn't fit the moon! That's my sister! She's been dead! Why is the music just suddenly bossa nova? What? <laughs> oh, Lord. You blinked. Stunned. Fia, your dead sister is here. In the flesh. Walking, breathing, alive. He immediately pulled Fia into a tight, bone-crushing hug. Whoa! Fia! Look at you! You're here! You're really here! You look so beautiful! Lion! Ow! Are you high again? Is that why that Inkwell guy told me to come fetch you? I knew mother should have let you spend the summer at his estate. All right. What do you want? Mushrooms? Weed? Or I don't know. Dreadmort, if you're particularly masochistic this summer. I'm not high. I'm just... I'm just really glad to see you. You're all grown. Ah, you notice. Two centimeters. 
Mom told me it's just the hair, but it's really not. I would know. Yeah. Yeah, you would. Fia was always very particular about her hair. Her crown in glory, she would say. Ew, why are you smiling like that? Like what? Can't they just be happy? Ugh, you don't do happy. Ugh. If it, if it weren't for your pupils, I would assume you relapse and start doing euphoria again. But I guess your skin looks far too healthy for that. Like, way too healthy. Wow. Since when did you take care of yourself? Or is that Inkwell's doing? Ugh. You could say that. How's that overrated slut doing anyway? Slut? Oh, come on now. Even the teachers... Even the teachers slut shame him. Well, they're Prius, so... I guess that's what they do, but still. Just... Just tell me he didn't use any of your holes and I won't castrate that guy. Uh, don't worry, I'm safe. I think. Good. I was a bit worried when he stopped texting me for the past two days. Afraid he convinced you to go on a bender or something. You seem alright. I guess you meant what you said about getting your act together. I'm glad. Fia approaches you into a tight embrace. Even her perfume smells similar to the one your sister wore before she died. Faintly, you can remember, you can hear her mumble. I missed you. You savor the moment, recalling fond memories from your childhood. Before she punched you in the stomach, hard. Well, since you're fine, we should be heading to class. I got holistic roots and potions with Miss Edna today. You took her classes when you were my age, right? Anything I should know? She doesn't like brown nose know-it-alls, for one. Quill! Fia. I heard your mother received no suitor letters this summer. Still a frigid virgin, I see. Better than a free-for-all slut. At least I'm wanted, honey. If you put half the effort you do on your hair to your face, then you might actually attract someone. Again, it's a slim chance, but it's a start. Ugh, just drop dead, Quill. What the? You felt the room spin. Something compels you to drop to your knees to the floor, but you manage to fight against it. Really, Fia? Just because you're a third year now doesn't mean you can use rune magic as you like. Also, a bit of a tip. The Furla rune works best when you engrave it to the back of your throat, not on your neck. Here, let me show you. Don't touch me! As if disgusted by Quill's mere presence, Fia briskly left the room. What was that? Furla is a room capable of hypnotizing people with the caster's voice. I'm surprised you were able to hold your own well, so... Maybe you possess some of Lion's prowess after all. Anyway, I take it her presence is an adequate reason for you to stay. That's still not my sister, though. Oh? My sister doesn't cuss as much, and she never hits, but still... I'll stay. You know damn well I will do... Uh, you know damn well I will with her around, didn't you? Of course, I told you there's a reason I chose you. You're the only lion out there who lost their sister, and not the other way around. Wait, what? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, I sent your class schedule to your phone. You have Mr. Dietrich's, uh, Dietrich's Dark Rune course first. My class is on uh, Rune Graphology. It's right next door to yours. Come, I'll take you. Don't take notes. Better yet, go sleep as soon as you take a seat. Lion was famous for their lethargy in class. Wait, you're expecting me... You're going to leave me here and expect me to blend in? What if the teacher asks me something? He won't, and don't worry. None of your classes are with Arsham or Thane until tomorrow, so you can relax for a bit. Just remember, laziness, aloof, an air of woe and dismay wherever you go. That's what Lion's all about. Uh, sure. I'm not that gloomy in real life, am I? The teacher from Quill's class seemed to notice our conversation. Joining us today, Quill? Wouldn't miss it for the world, sir. Ta, darling. Quill blows kisses at you. You can't help but cringe in disgust. As much as I don't want to play along, I'm kind of stuck here. Might as well do as he says. Let's just hope I don't bring too much attention to myself, and then I proceed to, like, get all the attention on me. God, I, oh, I can't believe I screwed up with my ex! There are three curse roots you shall never try to engrave in your skin. Can anyone tell me why? Miss Blaine? 
The moment the room is fully formed, it will decay your organs. Only pure-blooded witches can handle the strain. Very good. Quid pro quo. The very foundation of core runes. Headmaster William advised me not to even show you these runes. But from my experience, it's best to be prepared than to stumble into the unknown. Besides, I won't tell if you won't. Just promise not to use any of these on your exes, yeah? This priest seems to get along with the students. He's also quite young to be a priest. Are things just different in this world? Oh man, he's looking straight at me. Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, playing a part or uh, playing cool, playing a part, playing cool. I want to know the lore. Why is playing? Why is it that role playing correctly just leaves me out of the lore and fun interactions? Ah, God! Oh, my curiosity is going to kill me. Come on. Chill, Lion. Just play it cool. The Eye of Salem, the Rose of Hecate, and the Stars of Judas. Now, I won't tell you the details of what they individually do, but I'm sure if you wander around the restriction section of the library, you'll eventually find a few dark scrolls containing all the information you need. New conversation topic, Dark Curses. Now on to the more tamer curses. You listen to them eventually dozing off after having trouble falling along. Mr. Baker? Mr. Lion Baker! Ah! I'm afraid class has ended. Oh, I'm sorry. Quite alright, as long as you pass my exams. Uh, sleeping in my class is fine with me. I know how tiring the last year of school can be, with all the field witch hunting sessions and all. But do try to keep your spirits up, yeah? You're right. Anyway, your friend is waiting for you by the door. You shouldn't keep him waiting. Oh, right. I guess Quill is taking me to my next class. The hell? Uh, oh, oh, hi, uh, my guy, my guy, why, why are you, uh, okay. As soon as you exit the classroom, strong hands pin you to the wall. You look up and see a pair of a sparkling purple eyes staring right into your soul. Calmer now, you notice that those pair of striking eyes belong to an equally striking young man. Butterflies start to form in your stomach, whether it's attraction or something baser in you, telling you to run away is unclear. Can I help you? I want to, but I can't because I. Um, can I help you? You can. Question is, will you? Also, you do seem to be in an amicable mood this morning. Question is, why? Oh well, cut I flirt my ex just a little bit for old times' sake. The hell am I saying? You were out of reach for days. Fia was getting worried. Fia or you? We both were. And she hates Quill. And by how I saw him pulling her hand today, I'm starting to agree with your sentiment. Jealous? Obviously. Uh, oh. Wow, I didn't expect him to be this blunt. Does he still have feelings for me? We are exes, right? You made that very clear, but you're the one who said I'm free to hold on to my feelings for as long as I want. And you know very well that there's no one I want there's no one I want more than you. Is that so? <laughs> Man, this guy's trouble, isn't he? You look different. You know, you look different. You know that? Oh? Healthier. Well rested. You were always beautiful to me, but now uh, hum. I'm sorry to ruin the moment between you two, but shouldn't you be heading to class? Ah, uh, Mr. Dietrich, my apologies for letting you see such a sight. Huh? You feel like this man just flipped a switch where he was all skulls and sharp glares. Now were warm, thick smiles and a smooth, lifted voice. Is this his good boy facade Quill mentioned? It's all right. I understand young love and all the raging hormones that come with it. <laughs> you best be off now, though. Right, well, it wouldn't want to be late. You storm off to the opposite direction of wherever Arsham was heading. Best to avoid him for now. At least until I can get a good grasp on this other lion's personality. So my next class is... 
Damn it. My phone. Did I drop it in class? Better take a look. As you walk to class, you notice the door slightly ajar and a panicked voice rings through the room. Sir, this must be a mistake. Huh? Is Mr. Dietrich still talking to a student? I don't make mistakes, Miss Tatum. Not when it involves money. Wait, what? You know our deal. You gave me coin, and I'll make sure not to flunk your story, but those were my terms. I wouldn't pay you because that's way higher than what we agreed on. I, I couldn't pay you because that's way higher than what we agreed on. Times change, young Tatum. Inflation. Prices rise. You know the drift. Of course, I could just send your parents those photos we talked about. I'm sure your family will find your bedroom activities interesting, to say the least. Hold on. I'm sure we can work something out. Just give me more time. Time is money, Tatum. But I'm being gracious here, so you have 24 hours to wire me the funds. 24 hours? That's... Or, didn't your family inherit that rare air airline um, curse ring? I'm sure that will fetch for a handsome price in my store, no? You want me to steal it, but that's... I mean, I could fail you or have my dog summons rip out your kidney to be sold instead. Your call. No, I mean... No, I'll do it. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Oh, my pleasure. And Tatten? Yes? If you try and trick me with a dupe, my dogs will rip your boobs off. Understood? Yeah. Tatum ran through the upper exit. You should go. You should also go before. Well. Before you can escape, Mr. Dietrich snaps his fingers. A pack of wolves emerged from his fingertips and surrounded you in an instant. At first you thought they were an illusion. But the feel of sharp fangs and claws grazing your legs is enough to put your wishful thinking in check. Quite rude of you to eavesdrop, young lion. You knew I was here. I know a lot of things, lion. Things you try so hard to hide. I was waiting when I should drop my facade around you. Frankly, I was planning to corner you after you receive access to your family inheritance on your 22nd birthday. As per my retirement plan, but no matter. After all, there's nothing quite like the present. Your retirement plan. I know your secret. Your witch bond! With a firm pull of your glove, he stripped your hands bare. However, it seems like he didn't like what he saw. What? Where is it? Where is it? My retirement plan. My money. Your. You're not lying, are you? Of course I am. Who else would I be? No, you're not. I know lion like the back of my hand. Those eyes of yours. So full of hope and joy. Nothing like the dead, emotionless gaze Lion has. Where is Lion? Where's my retirement plan? Oi, chill, chill. Look, I'm just as clueless as you, Quill. Of course, Quill. Ugh, that damn... Ugh! You're coming with me. Oh, Lion and Mr. Dietrich. What's wrong? Anything I can do for you? Where is Lion, Quill? Sir? Lion, the real one. What have you and that twink quartet of yours done this time? Sir, with all due respect, Lion is right here. I know about the witch bond, you brat. There's no mark on this one's hand. Oh, I knew you were onto them. I suppose if anyone can help, it's you. Come with me. You and Quill escorted Mr. Dietrich back to the real Lion's body. He did some examinations of his own before reclining back with a deep sigh. A coma. Not just any coma, a full-on soul seal coma. Ugh. Which witch did this again? Vera, one of Ivar's daughters. Of course it is. Of all those guys, you just had to deal with the most powerful one of them all, didn't you? Is she dead then? Vera. Of course, we... Don't be proud, you idiot. You just freaking murdered the most powerful grand witch in the land's daughter. What is wrong with you? A lot of things, honestly, but with all due respect, it was either her or us. <sighs> well, uh, is it really that bad? Last time Ivor was pissed, he wiped out an entire country. Bad is an understatement. Of all the Grand Witches, why him? Grand Witches? 
pure-blood witches who rule over certain domains. Currently, there are four living grand witches in the land. The Witch of Greed. The Witch of Change. The Witch of Fantasy. The Witch of Beauty. Ivar, the Misandrist. Known for his beauty and his temper, Ivar once turned three million people into a field of everlasting flowers. Flowers? Sounds peaceful, right? But no. It's agony. Branches piercing your organs. Thorns stabbing you inside out. Those people he turned. They're still alive. When you pick those flowers up, they bleed. They cry. Their petals wet with dew, even in the driest of seasons. Researchers found that they still feel hunger, pain, thirst. They retire. They retain all their senses and memories, yet they can't sate any of their needs. Every time you crush them, try to give them mercy, they bleed, but then grow new petals, a cursed immortality. And you killed his daughter. If he's that bad, then why don't you hunt him down? Aren't you witch hunters? It's not like we try. It's not like we didn't try. Why did you think we triggered the Dead Zone War in the first place? So many of us died, trying to kill them off. In the end, they won. Now doing core knows what, and core knows where. We'll find any witch with a fat bounty reward on their heads, but the Grand Witches? No way. Especially not Ivar. Yeah, yeah, he's a terrifying man in a very sexy package. So, do you know how to fix line or not? I do, but it's hopeless. As far as I know, there's only one way to cure them. A heart for a heart. What? You mean a witch's heart? Is there such a ritual? Why haven't I heard of this before? Only the darkest cursed scrolls have any record of it. Fortunately for you, I do have them for sale in my store. For a price, of course. Name your price. Money doesn't matter to me. As I expected, from the richest family alive. Damned well... Damn spoiled inkwell brat! <sighs> I was so looking forward to blackmailing you. First, I suppose I was supposed to blackmail Lion, then you, because I know you would freaking get involved, and then I can finally drop my act as a holy priest. I could have retired, surrounding myself with beautiful people on the sandy beaches of South Viscar. Help me get a witch heart and. I might make that happen for you, old man. <laughs> Fool. It's not just any witch heart. Cursed rituals use, four, use the four for one rule, and it has to be adequate exchange. I know this SOB managed to bond with a pureblood witch, so if you want to wake them, you need four hearts of equally powerful pureblood witches. Four hearts? But that means... Hall of the Grand Witches, including Ivers. Oh, my. How fun! I finally have a reason to meet that legendary sex icon myself. The hell? Well, just sell me all your scrolls that can help and tell you my bill, will you, Mr. Dietrich? And hurry, please, I have class soon. <laughs> you really think you can beat four grand witches, you brat? Not even our headmaster can defeat Ivar. You and your twin quartet won't stand a chance. Especially since your quartet is now a trio. I'll find a way. Besides, I'm an inkwell, remember? Miracles is what we do. Tuh. <laughs> Fine. It's your funeral. I'll be happy to sell you any materials you need before your untimely demise. I'll even help you find intel on the witches. Consider it a service. Only for our most loyal of customers. Wait. You're really doing this? Seriously? If it's the only way to bring Lion back, then yeah. Besides, I can't let Fia lose her brother. That woman despises me enough. Can't imagine what would happen to me if her precious Lion died. Alright, Fia. That's right. This Fia still has her brother. But if she were to lose them, then... Then she'll blame herself. Circling in an endless cycle of what-ifs. Huh? Did you say something? Let me help you. I want to help. Let me reunite Fia with her actual brother. If I have to freaking draw runes on my hands or lose an arm to fight off some witches, then so be it. Let me redeem myself. Let me do this for this world's fear. 
I don't think I can forgive myself if I didn't try. <laughs> you two really are alike. You and the insufferable sister complex of yours. But don't worry, darling. I was planning to get you involved one way or another anyway. Are you sure, though? To be honest, I thought you would be content with simply taking her lion's place. Of course not! I don't deserve that kind of luxury. Besides, Mom's making me my favorite back home. Once Lion is awake, you'll send me back to my world, right? Of course! The world has no use for two of you. One is already far too many. If it were me, I would just play pretend and enjoy the ride, but I forget that common sense is a blessing, so... It was nice knowing you, fake Lion. If you need anything, I'm sure my store can provide. Store? The Black Market. To be honest, he's the only person in the campus that will sell anything to me. Those vendors on campus won't take my money anymore. What? Why? Wouldn't you like to know? That reminds me, however... However you're free, right? Since Mr. Dietrich made you skip class. Be a dear and fetch me two bottles of rune ink, will you? Rune ink? The stores near the main gate sell them. This should be enough to cover it. I have ten gold! Only ten gold? Aren't you rich? Don't you know that wealth and stinginess go hand in hand? Go on, explore the grounds while you're at it. I'll be waiting for you at the dorm's second floor hallway, or you could just turn in the ingredients in your request app from your phone. Wait, you can send physical items through your phone? You... you can't? Why? What an outdated world you have. I pity you. Anyway, see you tonight. Remember, the dorm's second floor hallway? Don't make me wait. Pushy, ain't he? I guess I get to go around. I can really travel from place to place. Oh, wow. Uh, let's get to the shops first. Yeah. Oh, uh, here. Oh, uh, wait, what? Okay, hold up, hold up. Runing, I need two of these, right? Yeah, two of these. Thank you. Uh, oh, is that, oh, I, I could, that, why would that be a thing I get? Ancient scroll, huh? And then there's blessing scroll. It's worth 666 gold. Uh, cooking scroll, huh? I guess all of this would be important one way or another. Eh, I wouldn't know. I really would know. Okay, let's return. What's over here? What's in this? Whoa, holy water, sugar, yeast. Egg, milk, cocoa powder, wine, honey, ham, beef, uh, local meat. What kind of meat is it? Again, we don't know. Uh, let's see, bait, mushrooms, and red herring. All right. Wait, blue herring. God, why did I read that as red herring? Okay. Anyway, what's out here? Oh, well. An old dried up well. Okay. Y'all can't see my cursor. I just realized this is a problem. Okay. All right. Now y'all can see my cursor. So at least it's just not as jank as before. But anyway, let's go back up here. What's down to the right? Oh. Before you go any further, a nun stops you in your tracks. Where do you think you're going? Village visits is a privilege, not a right. The nun dragged you back to campus. She kept ranting on how students are only allowed to enter the village on weekends. Okay, what's up here? I don't know what this is. Am I supposed to go left or those people? How was the summer in Theode? Not bad, but not great either. Way too many fairies around. Well, it's their domain, so... Right. Hey, Lion. Taken any hunting quests around town lately? I killed two witches over the summer. Maybe I can finally catch up to your record. Right up here. Try to sneak around the gate, but no luck. Wish they let us roam... Wish they let us roam to the village as we please. I mean, we're all adults here. Maybe that's the reason why. They know we get to all sorts of shenanigans. Wait, I do want to go back to your shop. Uh, just chat with some of the folks here. The shops in town are, ver are more varied, but there are a few places where you can get rune ink. Some say this place used to be a production house for such ink, and there's still some leftover tools in the school's basement. Right, uh, folk over here? Need anything? Ask the missus inside. Okay, what about you? I can't believe they let that new guy in. His eyes are gone. He's definitely bad news. Okay, what about you guys? Dad found me a suitor this summer. Lord Fandral. Ew, I know him. I'm sorry, Nat. 
Yeah, duties of a firstborn, I suppose. Think of it this way, at least you're not matched with Quill. True, I pity whoever has to soul bound with him. I know, right? That man has no shame. I heard his cousin might take his place as heir. So I doubt his father will let that happen. Then the new conversation topic, Inkwell drama. Ugh. I guess it makes sense to actually chat up with everyone I can. Oh my god, did you see Arsham just now? Is it just me or did he get even more handsome? Yeah, I'm more of a Thane fan myself. Okay, wait, was there anyone down here I could chat with? Anything I could interact with? Doesn't seem so. Alright, uh, yeah, might as well just leave the place for now. Uh, lower gardens. Oh, wait, we've been here. Upper gardens? Huh. You saw some students checking you out, but they quickly avert their gaze. Am I popular in this world? That'd be a nice change. Alright, uh, down here. They say there's a really pretty bartender at the Cupid's Bar. I can't wait to go visit her at the weekends to see for myself. Alright, you? I wish the jellyfish season would start. Jellyfish? Oh, Lion, didn't see you there. Yeah, I was just talking to myself. But you know, jellyfish season. I just love the way they fly out of the ocean and burst into stuff. <laughs> Why, what? They say that it's a mermaid's way of contacting their beloved sailors. Others say it's sea witches trying to lure in their victims. Who knows? Either way, I think it's beautiful. Ah, jellyfish. Neat. Uh, let's check out side garden. Fear! Hey, bro. Skipping class again? No. Man, seems like this world, Lion isn't much of a role model. I should change that. What about you? Herbology class. Got to name 20 plants around the campus. Do you think this leaf is a night shoot or fundacious? I have no idea what you just said. Uh, night shoot probably. Uh, herbology was never your strong point. No, it's not. Also fear. Uh, what's if you had acquired top? Ah, oh, God damn it. I can't. Uh, blah. I don't have those conversation topics. You don't know any interesting topics to ask her. Maybe you should explore the campus more. Huh? You're acting weird, Lion. Even more than usual. Anyway, I need to continue class. See you at dinner? Yeah, later. Right. Arena. Yo! You saw Thane fighting with another student. At first, you thought he was gonna get his butt whooped. But turns out he can handle himself just fine. Damn. Oh, Lion! Came to watch me fight? Oh, man. You fight good. Nice, right? Learned a few ice roots this summer. Mostly cool off before I burn to a crisp. But they're pretty useful for these kind of things, too. Though I'm nowhere near Quill's level yet. Can't wait to see you spar with him, though. Oh, he's a riot. Tch. Yeah. Oh, God. Am I gonna die at this school? Like, hell, will I be able to fight anyone here and live? Anyway, back to class. See you, Lion. Okay. Uh, folks over here. Have you tried conjuring a blue flame? Nah, man. Either Ashim or Quill can do that. But neither Ashim or Quill can do that. If they can't, why should I even try? Alright, uh, what about you? Come on. Fight me in your wolf form just once. No way! Just because I'm a werewolf doesn't mean I can transform as I please. It's an instinct thing, not a control thing. Alright, what about you guys? Ever seen the headmaster fight? Oh, yeah. I pray for whoever has to fight him. Wonder where he's off to lately. Haven't seen him around. Maybe the church sent him off on a hunt? Okay, what about you? Lion! Uh, are you? It's Diana. Diana Sharon. I knew you since second grade. After a quick glance, you notice a few uneven patches of color in her hair. Right, uh, you dyed your hair. Oh, you noticed. Thought I'd switch it up a bit. Anyway, how was your summer? Heard you fought a couple of witches now, right? What's it like? Think you can share a few stories with me sometime? Uh, it's a date. What? Oh, no, I wouldn't want that. Ashim would kill me if I tried. Not to mention my mom, Gurla. Kill you? Look, I know how he gets. He's been obsessed with you ever since you saved him from that Drakmar witch. I get that obsession, but you're very attractive, but still. Huh. Okay, Drakmar witch. I can now talk about the Drakmar Witch. I guess we'll come back here some other time. Archery Field. Ooh, what about you? Hey, Lion, think of joining the, 
Thinking of joining the archery club? It's about time someone puts Arsham in his place. No thanks. What about you folks? Oh, Cor. Oh, Cor. What's wrong? I sent a love letter to Headmaster William's office yesterday. You what? Why would you do that? The man's ancient. It wasn't there, okay? You think he read it already? Well, you could sneak in and out. Uh, heard he's out of town for a few days. Why well, have a quest? Why? Okay, I have a quest. I got gold. I got gold. Okay, ink for ink. I got. Wow. Okay, I I have quests. I didn't know that this was a thing I could get. Damn. Okay, what about these folks? A crowd of guys seem to be talking about Asham. Did you see the amount of girls swarming Asha? Yeah. What's the good about the guy anyway? Beats me. He's just some dude who got lucky since his mother married rich. I know, right? Wouldn't be surprised if his stepfather screwed him too. Uh, why would that be a conversation topic I could get? Why? I, uh, okay. Sparring field. Ooh. Lion, my nemesis. Uh, who are you again? Don't play dumb. My brother puts me into special training last summer. I will definitely regain my honor. Just you wait. I'll be prepared to face you in our next defense class. Sure, bud. <laughs> I'm really leading into the role. Stab, stab. I came to the school to avenge my family. My family lived in Carrowham before Ivor screwed it up. We escaped, but to this day, my mother still has flowers growing from her wounds. Damn. I really gotta save this world, I guess. God, I got Isekai here. Now I gotta save the world. Fishing port. Need something, kid? Who are you supposed to be? Name's Pike. I'm a fisherman from Ladar. The fish aren't bad here, so... Yeah, I thought I'd head off here. Ladar. Small island south from here. Yeah, I've seen some of you kids waltzing about here in the weekends. But we got some nice ham. Better than anywhere else. I see, uh... So are the fish biting then? No bad. Better than in Lanar. Not sure why though. Usually it's flocking this season. Maybe it's because of their damn puppeteer scaring even the goddamn fish away. Puppeteer? Tall, scary thing. Kids love his show, but the guy seems a bit off to me. But I guess you kids will say the same about me. You're the first kid here to dare to even look me in the eye. Ha! <laughs> fish kid? A little bit. My uncle used to take me on a fishing trip or two. Really now. Can't enter. Is there oh, a fishing mini game? Eel! Well, I'll be damned. Not bad. Tell you what, kid. Keep the run. I have a spear. You sure? Yep. Fishing this way is a dying art with all the hoodie keys and runes about. Nice to meet a fellow angler. Hell back to fishing now. Don't be a stranger, kid. I'm gonna spend all my time fishing. <laughs> I gotta talk to him again. Here to fish for me? Yes! You need bait? God damn it! Uh, I need to get bait, and for that I need to go to the shops. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, do I have? I don't have enough. I have enough or what? I have enough. Yes, yes. I I don't care that this is a bad use of my money. I'm going fishing with Pike. All right, I'm gonna be fishing with Pike. Hey, hey, this is the best part of the game. Okay, yeah, boink. Jellyfish! Wait, I just realized I don't get any gold from this. These are just gifts I can give. Who would even want a jellyfish or an eel? Frick! <sighs> Whatever. Uh, wait, let me just check my inventory real quick. Okay, so I've got two egg bo Okay, runings. Okay, I've got common candy. Why would I have common candy? I don't remember getting that. I've got eel and I've got jellyfish. Great, great. Okay. Look, as much as I would love to continue fishing, we have to continue on with the rest of the quest. I just wasted two gold for that. How do they keep me fresh in my inventory? Uh, whatever. Uh, fountain it is. Okay. Wow, there's so many places to walk to. Hmm. Okay. What's up with you? Hey, you. Have you seen a gold wing? A gold wing shaped. Uh, blah blah. Have you seen a gold wing shaped hairpin around? I'm looking for it. Do I get a quest for that? Do I get money for that? Hey, Lion, you have your witch hunting license already, right? Think I tutor me sometime? I failed the hunter's exam again this year. Hopefully I have better luck next year. All right. 
Have you thought about joining the choir this semester? Pass. I'm not joining as long as Fia's in it. The girls got issues. I hear you. Fia, what are they talking about? Okay, I got a conversation topic for choir. Shouldn't you hurry up and change? Class is starting soon. Later, it's too hot to wear that stuffy old uniform. Okay, let's see. Over here. My father gave me two options. Here are Molina School for Blossoming Beauties. I'd rather die than go to that school full of snooty fairies and meek sirens. They all just end up they all just end up prostitutes for the nobles anyway. Right, I'm guessing here it's oh, okay, that just leaves. Back to the fountain. Okay, down. That just leaves again. Fountain again. To the right. Oh, new area. I don't even know where this is. It would be nice if we actually saw what location this all is, okay? Like, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, anyway, uh, who are you? Have you noticed it's harder to get ruining these days? I wonder what's wrong with the stock. Okay, what about you guys? So what's your plan after your graduation? <clears throat> what else? Kick witch's butt and take names, you? I'm thinking of enrolling in the ministry. Shh, seriously? You know only snobby know-it-alls from Varud get in there? That or those nobles with daddy's money. Okay, what about the person on the thing? The nun slowly turns her head towards you. Care to join the debate club, young lion? I'm sure you'll find our meetings tantalizing. Um, thanks, but no thanks. Nuns creep me out. <laughs> okay, uh, what about these two? Is Miss Hedwin holding another sermon? Yeah, does she think anyone will really come and listen to her? Okay, what about the dude at the back? You know, the nuns in Vortex Empire all wear masks. I heard it's to block the smell of blood since they use blood incense to control leeches. Leeches? Vampires who lost their minds obsessed with blood. Or they're as crazy as werewolves went berserk. Huh. Leeches. Neat. Okay. Ah, god damn it, that just leaves again. About uh go to the right, go here. Where am I? Uh fell on the right. You might think all of Miss Hedwin's uh Hedwin's sermons are just nonsense, but some of it actually bears some truth. Did you know that Cor herself made the school and her dwellings is somewhere underneath this lake. I wish I could see it. Okay, what about you? Ah, the baker boy. You wish to hear my sermon? Uh, cut, class. I see. Well, come anytime. We welcome everybody. All right, what about this person right here? Miss Hedgewin lost all her limbs due to rune necrosis back in the Dead Zone War. The church paid for all her prosthetics due to her service. I heard she used to be quite the force of nature back in her youth. Wish I saw her in a prime. Uh, what about the guy just standing ominously at the back? The werewolf tribe don't have a god. And again, I guess only our land and the vamps have any deities. Right. Do I check on the person doing a sermon again? Uh, no, I guess I'm not. I guess there's no new conversation there. Uh, please tell me that there ain't anything new. Like, if I were to come back here another day... Uh, but it would be cool though. It would be really cool. Okay, what's up here? Yeah, that just leaves. Uh, fountain again to the top. Where am I? Uh, okay. Uh, back to the fountain. But God, uh, I keep hitting the wrong one. Okay, I do want to say we'll, we'll see what's over here though. That just leaves again. That just leaves. I wish I had an indication of what any of this does. Okay, so let's go to the right. Principal's office. Why would I have this choice? Why is this a choice? I go in. It's locked. Might be able to break in if I had a thin hairpin or something. Okay. What? Where am I? Blessings and charms. You can hear a teacher's voice inside. Shouldn't go in there right now. To the right. Need something, fake lion? Oh, uh, just look around. My classroom isn't a place for you to snoop in and out as you please. Buy something or get out. Oh! What? What? Wow, he's got so much ancestor ashes. Okay, God, I died. I need to make a lot of gold, and how am I supposed to get gold? Now get out. Jeez, are you always like this? Are you always this cut with your customers? Only the cheap ones. Time is money. If you want me to be pleasant, then you should buy more from my shop. I could be loving to a loyal customer. 
All this guy cares about is money, huh? Okay, legit. I wish that there's an indication of what all these doors are. Rune Graphology. Go in. Looks like no one's here. Uh, what's this back left? Astronomy, as astronomy and divinations. 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Potions, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Professor Miss Poppyen. Go in. Anything I can help you with, dearie? Oh, um, Miss Edna? Please, I told you we're long past that. Call me Poppy. Right, Poppy. Um, can I use the room if I need to, uh, make something? Potions? Sweets? Remember how you love making I remember how you love making sweets. Oh, until recently, that is. But yes, feel free to use the room, dearie. Just remember to clean up and leave the room by seven. I have astronomy and divinations until midnight. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Oh, and, um, Poppy? Yeah? How do I make potions again? Oh, sweetie. I wish you'd stop it with the drugs. You're doing so well. I know your breakup with Ashim took a toll on you, but still. Wait, what? Wasn't I the one who broke up with him? All you need are in the shelves. Mortars, cauldrons, and everything. Oh, and I know it's not my place, but do take care of yourself. I hate to see you young folk waste your life away. Why? I, I can't make potions. There's a label on it. Experimental, do not touch. Leave it be! There's a plaque on this desk. Puppy Edna. What a weird name. Uh, okay, anything else? That thing over there. Damn, look at the size of this thing. Okay, uh, this thing. An armillary spear? There's something engraved here. The blood moon unites all, even those that should never be tempered with. Blood moon. Okay, even the even the things I come along like come across here. Wait, there's a thing there. So even like some of the interactables in the world give you conversation topics. Good to know. Seems like I can craft stuff here. What? Start crafting? Oh wait, what? Sugar and paper makes co common candy, and then I can make a cake, sugar, egg, milk. Huh. Interesting. But do I need any? I don't yet. Maybe later? Maybe later. I, I can come back here if I ever need to make something. Uh, okay, so that's back there. Uh, what's to the left? Oh. Oh, God. I'm back in your classroom again. What do I even do with ancestor ashes? What the hell? Okay. Uh, God. Um, typhus. An odd textured fruit. Hmm. We <laughs> This is 420. God. Uh, book of curses. Book of whoa. God. Oh, all right. I'm leaving. I'll get it. I didn't even know that that was your class. Screw you. Oh, oh, this is okay. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, go back to wait. The church. That's where I was. Okay. I. God damn it. Okay. Fountain. Go bottom lay. I've left it. Courtyard. Oh, this is the courtyard. Okay. Uh, classrooms? I've already been here. Okay, a lot. Library? Library. Library. Have you read The Guide to the Rare and Beautiful? It's a book on sirens, mermaids, and fairies. Heard there used to be mermaids in our lake. Wonder where they are now. Uh, what about you? It might sound nerdy, but I went to the school because of its library. That and the social balances isn't so bad. Most academies only allow nobles or rich in. Okay, anything to interact with around here? Uh, oh, I can... Ah! Hands off the glass now! Whoa! Oh, it's you. Uh, do I know you? Ah, so it's one of those days. I see. Killed too many brain cells, did you? I wouldn't be surprised if you don't even know your own name. But very well, since you're in no state to recall anything, then for the eleventh time, I'm Mr. Kepler. I'm the librarian here. When in my domain, please refrain from chatter, eating, drinking, and most importantly, no touching the glass cases. Oh, and boring any books to your rooms or classes is strictly prohibited. Campus policy, if you can't afford any school books, then please consult with the administrators. Any questions? Why did you say 11th? Because ever since I first met you, I had to reintroduce myself 11 times now, thanks to that destructive habit of yours. 
Honestly, why don't you just reconcile with Ashim? You were much more terrible than... Wait, what? Your drink is substance abuse. You never did it when Ashim was with you. You were the perfect power couple. Perfect height difference, both easy on the eyes. The black hair and blonde cliches. I was sure a soul bond was just around the corner, but no. What a waste. Are you sh sh Are you always this interested in the students' businesses? Of course. Who needs soap operas and romance novels when you're surrounded with teen angst and drama? Have you heard Melody is dating both Ymir and Sergan? Quite scandalous. I'm team Ymir myself. So Sergan X Ymir would be... The man goes on a long tangent about the students' love lives. I feel like I should retreat while I can. You slowly walk away from the man and went on your way. Let's go to the right. Who are you? What are you? Core, I hate these uniforms. Didn't people say Core fought a hundred witches in just a nightgown? Why could we wear that? It's... <laughs> God, imagine fighting, like, imagine going on any battle and just your nightgown. Jeez, I should do that. Okay, anything else to- Oh, I can touch the books. What potion said all the reasons to not get turned into a vampire? Huh, interesting. You learn an you learn how to make blood pops and mix blood. That would be nice to give to what's-his-face, though. You tried to read it, but it's all written in, in weird symbols. Right, anything else? Uh, no, nothing at all. Uh, yeah, let's leave. And, uh, where can I go? Nowhere else in the library, so let's leave. Potions class! I do want to see what are the ingredients for the stuff. Yeah, the blood pop. Human blood or animal blood? Best not to know. Turtle, beef, and ham? Jesus Christ, why does it take so much? Okay, blood pop, so I need mixed blood. Sugar and rock holy water. Holy water? For a vampire? Why? It's okay. Um, I guess eventually what I want to do is make blood pops to give to like the redhead. Uh, because he's a vampire, I reckon. Um, so let's leave for now. Okay, and go to the dorm. Oh, hi. I know not all priests are witch hunters and vice versa, but still. Why would anyone join the church otherwise? I mean, how else can priests and nuns make money, make enough money to get by? Okay, what about these folks? Man, I'm tired. It's still midday. I know, I just can't sleep lately. Wish I had hot cocoa. That usually puts me right to bed. What? Hot cocoa? Hey, Lion, can you tell Quill to quiet down in the bedroom already? We know he gets lots of action, but he doesn't need to rub it in our faces. Man, he really gets it on then. This might sound crazy, but I swear, the core statue in my room sometimes cry out ink. What? Also, I did get a new quest. What's that about? Uh, ink for ink. Well, I need to turn this in soon. Uh, then over here. Someone needs hot cocoa to cure their insomnia. I suppose that's something we should go to the shops for. Dorm rooms. Could explore and meet up with Quill. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I need to leave. Uh, let's go to the shops real quick. Uh, cause I know someone needed hot cocoa. How do I make hot- How do I make hot cocoa? I don't know how to make hot cocoa! I mean, I know I need cocoa powder and milk, but how do I make it? Uh, I'll figure it out eventually. So I need to somehow find a hairpin. Where can I even get a hairpin? I don't know. Wait, what's this door? It's locked. Oh, cause I'm supposed to get to the principal's office somehow. Lord. Uh, okay, I've already seen all that. What am I supposed to do? Okay, there's nothing down here. How do I make hot cocoa? Why do you go to potions class? I feel like there's something I need to do. Right, I think we need to unlock the recipe for that. I don't know how to unlock the recipe for it, but I think we'll just end the quest right now. And just, yeah, let's end the day. Evening. I've been waiting for you. Did you get what I need? Yeah, here's the ink. Oh my, thank you. Here's a little tip for the personal delivery. What's this? A cooking scroll should teach you all you need to know about basic cooking recipes. I used to enjoy cooking. Thought you'd be the same. Huh. Actually, I do. Thanks. What do you need the ink for anyway? Uh, you know, experiments. Oh, and here. You'll need one of your own. Uh, you'll need one of your own. Runes work best when drawn by yourself. Wait, I need to use them too? Yeah, you'll need it. You needed to draw your own protection rune tonight. Protection runes? 
Privacy is a luxury, even within our dreams. Draw this rune on yourself, unless you want witches to visit your dreams tonight. Just copy what I've drawn here. Also, never ever draw on your thumb. Why? Rune corruption. Overuse of runes can decay your hand. Losing any other digit is fine, as long as you have at least one digit plus your thumb. Without your thumb, however, well, things are significantly harder. Will handed you a dipping pan and some ink. You can mimic the symbol on his ring. Finger to the same digit on your hand. Good. Runes are always stronger when you draw them yourself. Well, I'm off now. I have a strapping young man tied to my bedpost, and I'll be sure to put his innocence to good use. It's too much information, dude! While Quill walks away, you notice that you smudge your rune. Oh, man. Well, not like it matters, right? Guess I should head back to my room and rest. It's been a tiring day. Where was my room again? Oh, no. I have to find the dude. The living room is empty, so you head back inside. Ah, uh, down? Oh, what is this? This one is... This is one dusty couch. Some seats look like they've been chewed by rats or something. Right, uh, okay, that's the same deal. Why, who are you? Yeah! For the love of Kor, you scared me, man. Uh, what are you doing? You're the one who scared me. What are you doing? Who or what is this? Did you just call me a what, Mr. Baker? Five demerits! Oh, wait, is this a teacher? Sorry, um, uh, what are you two doing again? Stalking prey. Prey. Mice. You know, like I told you before, for blood. Kinda yucky, I know, but what can you do? It's degrading, isn't it? Two vampires having to rely on vermin. Alas, the academy isn't so accommodating, more so with blood prices rising higher still. Speaking of vermin, however, why are you here, Mr. Baker? This is a restricted area, and I don't recall hosting any night combat lessons today, so why are you skulking around? Um, I wanna help? Help? Yeah, Thane, I know you're struggling with this whole blood thing, so I, uh, uh, I don't have a vial of blood. Wanna share mine? What? Are you kidding me? Are you saying you're letting him feast on your blood, Lion? That's awfully charitable of you, and what exactly do you hope in return? Um, show me to my room, no questions asked? Are you really okay, Lion? Like, sober? For a, for a payment that shallow, I assume this is a one-time favor. Uh, yeah, it's a one-time thing. Ah, uh, I was kind of hoping for a regular donation, but... What am I saying? I'll take it. Thanks, Lion. Bon appetit! Wait, you're doing it now? Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the blood being drained from your veins, shriveling them up with a dull ache. It hurts. Oi! Thane! Cool it already! I agree. That's more than enough, Thane. But Thane didn't stop. Instead, his bite deepens and his eyes glow a bright ruby red. Thane! Stop! Stop! Ah! God, God, God! I'm so sorry! I don't know what came over me. That never happened before. Lion, you okay? I'm a bit dizzy, but... Ugh. Anemia. You took too much, Thane. Uh, I'll carry you to your room, okay? Hold on. Gently, Thane. I know. Thane carried you in his arms, back to your bed. Even in slumber, you can still feel drops of your own blood dribbling down his chin. And? Huh? Where am I? I wonder who's the ignorant fool that forgot their rune tonight. Oh, 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 God, I'm the bad heart in the dude of beauty. How lucky I am. How lucky am I to be blessed by the presence of my daughter's murderer. Murderer? Wait, are you? The Witch of Beauty. Ivor. The Misandris. Ha! My infamous nom de plume. I've always despised that... I've always despised that name. Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? I didn't kill your daughter, I swear. I know. You just happened to bore the same features as the one who did. 
Question. Do you, do you know how your doppelganger became in their current state? The real story and not the one that Inkwell Debalchi told you? What? Would you like to find out? Two male figures with flower heads carry the groom from your dreams, the cheating husband-to-be. You only heard Quill's side of the story. Perhaps this witness shall shed a better light onto the scene. So I'm afraid you won't be getting much honesty from his mouth. Whoa! No! No! Please! Ah! Ah! The flowers grew and grew from every part of the man's head until a full bouquet replaced it whole. Who would find it beautiful if not for the blood? <laughs> every fiber of your being is screaming at you to run, yet your muscles freeze in place, pinning you to your seat. But thankfully, there are other ways around that. Ivor reached out to the man's new head and plucked out a single red rose. In an instant, fresh blood starts oozing from the stem. Here? What is that? A welcoming gift. Ironic, isn't it? How magic turns the most hideous souls into the most alluring flowers. Ah! What did he do? Cheers! To our first ever otherworldly visitor. Just call me an isekai, please. I must say, you are quite the beauty. If not for your gender. Says the male with your beauty. Flattery in name only. Luckily, one doesn't need to be attractive to appreciate beauty. Cut the small talk. What do you want? What any calm and reasonable father wants. The head of my daughter's murderer served me on a silver platter. Revenge. Yes, but not at you. You're just a tourist. Someone blinded by the charm of those bewitching sinners. Aren't you the sinners? Aren't you the bit with what? Aren't you the sinners? It's human nature to delude oneself to be the heroes on the good side. You may think I'm the wretched one, but... They're the ones committing genocide on my kind. The guy's head just exploded in front of me. I'm pretty sure you're the villain here. Even if he was the one who broke my daughter's heart, even after he drove her against me, and didn't even have the decency to honor her loyalty. There's always another side to things, Lion. Question is, are you curious enough to pursue them? Tell me... Are you the type who rather hide in ignorant bliss, or the type to embrace the truth, no matter how ugly it might be? I'd rather know the truth. I would like to know the full picture. A wise choice, an often disappointing choice, but a wise one nonetheless. Why did you ask me that? To see how you'd react. That rose holds the key to your truth. The real cause of your doppelganger's state. Crush it, and you'll find your answers. What is this, really? This rose? A piece of the man's brain, of course. Of course. He says it like you're the odd one here. And how am I sure... And how am I sure what I see will be the truth and not another lie? If there's anything I cherish more than my daughter's, it's my integrity. I don't lie, child. I'm cruel, unapologetic, and if it pleases me, I will kill, maim, and torture you, along with all you care about. But I swear, I will never, ever lie to you. Can you say the same for your new acquaintance in blue? Why are you telling me all this? Because I want to give you a choice. Like I said, I am a calm and reasonable man. You know nothing of this world. Nothing other than what those liars feed you. It's only fair I give you the full picture. Or at least the opportunity to. So, if that won't stop you from hunting down my kindred spirits, then so be it. 
What? So your affection isn't spread to other Grand Witches? Lucky for you, we witches prefer to work alone. An underappreciated blessing in this world. Now, I said what I needed to say. So, I don't see why we must tolerate each other's company for much longer. What the? If you're looking for my kindred, I suggest you start with the Witch of Greed. Meza's show is always such a sight to behold at this time of year. Are you telling me that that's the puppeteer? Mm -hmm. Mm. What? Ah! It was just a dream. Ah. Damn it! Uh, Lion? Ah, uh, yeah, Lyle. What's up? A friend of yours is waiting you by the door. He's reminding you to join him for breakfast in the mess hall. Oh, uh, okay. I'll be out in a minute. Uh, care to join us? Oh, no, I, uh, don't do well with crowds. Oh. Well then, um, bye. Lion, you okay? Uh, you okay from last night? I brought you some Vita up. I'm fine, don't come in, I'm getting changed. You put the rose inside your writing desk drawer. I'll sort that out later. As you approached Ar Arsham and Quill, you saw another student chatting up with Asham. Asham, thank you again for your help yesterday. If there's anything I can do to repay you. Nonsense, Ajax. It was only helping out a friend in need. Still, if there's anything I can do, anything at all. Well, there is something. Your father is in the ministry, isn't he? Would you be so kind to pass this along to him? The letter? What's it about? Just a business proposition I have in mind. I doubt that he would humor the ideas of an undergraduate, but who knows? Maybe a good word from you can convince him otherwise. Of course! I'll make sure he reads it. Don't worry. The young man skirt along to his group of friends. So, what's in the letter? Just a suggestion I have, taking me under his wing up to my graduation. Oh? And what ungodly curse runes did you use to convince him? Or is it just good old-fashioned blackmail? Don't be rude, Quill. You know blackmail is far too flimsy for my taste. Ha! Huh. And you used his son to deliver the curse for you. I swear, the things you do to get ahead in life, Asham. Completely fair game. Some of us don't have an inheritance to rely on, Quill. What did you do, Asham? Lion, you're late. Why? Uh, my, uh... Oh, do I ask? Does I tell him to ask Thane or press on? No, oh, ask Thane. Ask Thane. God, I'm really sorry, Lion. I swear it was an accident. What was? I might have sucked a bit too much of Lion's blood last night. You what? Asham banged the table his knife hitting dangerously close to Thane's right hand. Holy core, you nearly slapped my hand with that thing! You drank their blood? Yeah, hey, hey! Lion's the one who suggested it! I did. I wanted to help with, you know, his blood problems. What? Was I supposed to ask your permission for my own body? Bit of advice, love? As much as you want to say yes to that, the sane and logical answer is no. Quill, shut up. Just trying to help out, Ashi dear. What? You want them to be snatched up by their beefcake of a roommate? By the way, where is that hunk of a man? In our room. He said he didn't like crowds. Attention! Huh? It's attention he doesn't like. Hard to eat peacefully with everyone gawking at you. You've seen his eyes, unless I'm the only one who actually took the time to get, our know our, to get to know our newcomers. The first years basically cower behind their desks from the mere sight of him. Alright, oh, they were golden, weren't they? Golden? Like Ivar's. Ah! Golden eyes. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? You think that's one of his kids? 
Do you know any other being who has golden eyes like this? None whatsoever. So that would explain why I find him so interesting. Pink and blue eyes for his daughters. Gold for his sons. Doesn't he kill his sons? I mean, some even claim he eats them. So does legend say. Only his daughters inherit his magic. I believe his sons tend his gardens. You mean as fertilizers? <laughs> Only if they're lucky. Rumor has it he uses them as his puppets. Wait, does that mean those flower servants were his sons? So you're saying that this guy's an escapee? Does he not keep track? I mean, how many children can one guy have? Reaching the hundreds, his promiscuity rivals mine. Honestly, Quill, that says a lot more about you than him. Anything to add, Lion? Huh? You are his roommate. Eh, he seems sweet. He seems sweet. There's that innocent look in his eyes. Gullible? Huh? If he's impressionable, he'd make a good addition to our quartet. We need more brain we need more bronze than brains in our group. You and Quill are increasingly difficult as of late. Meaning that Daddy Dom wants a new sub to bend to his way. He's a Dom! I appreciate control and obedience. Nothing wrong with that. Besides, he needs someone. I know what that feels like. Ostracized for your looks. Huh? Who's chatting me? Oh, well, well, what's up? Ashim's eyes. Purple eyes are exclusive to fairies and forest spirits. His mom's a human, but he's a literal dingus. So the man has daddy issues. All right. Now be tactful and pause a moment before looking back up. Oh, by the way, has anyone seen that request about a cat? Cat? Someone didn't obey school protocol and brought their pet with them. Yeah, that one! Heard they're giving out a big reward for anyone able to find the little dude. Interested? It's no time to be playing pest control. I might do it, just so I can shove the thing up in Fia's face. He is allergic to cats? Exactly! Well, I bet I can get it before all you can. Oh? And what are you offering? Huh? It's a bet. You don't expect us to follow a wager without any rewards, do you? What do you mean? Oh, I don't like that smile one bit. Favors. Victor gets to order everyone else for any favor of their choosing. Any? Besides naughty ones, of course. The hell? Ah, what the hell? I'm free to one. Count me in. Pass. No booty, no duty. Did you line? Gotta put your money where your mouth is. Because if I don't play, you won't, right? No, but I'm sure I can find a way to persuade you to join us, willingly or not. Fine, I'll pay. I'll play. Just so I can get you off my back. Then it's settled. May the best man win. Don't tell me I have a time limit for this! And so begins your search for this elusive cat. No, 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 I am making a save, no! Okay, Norm first. Uh, wait, hang on, I need to go to the potions class. Alright. Okay, I want to see if I can make the hot- Yes! Oh, yes, I made- I can make hot cocoa. Wait, I can make bread. <gasps> Body pops? Ooh, cool. Cat food. <gasps> Wait, so I need ham, blue herring, and eel. Ooh, I've got- I've got the eel. I need to get a blue herring and ham. All right, where can I get ham from? Okay, I think I know where to get ham from. Okay, first things first. Let's make the hot cocoa. Yep. Okay, this is needed for a quest we had. All right, so let's go back. Uh, back and back and go to the dorm. Uh, someone needs hot cocoa. Okay, yep. Oh, thanks! Here, keep the change. Here, let me repay you. I- 15 gold! That was worth 10 gold! Th th what? It's okay, it's okay. So, I need- So, missing cat. Reward is 100 gold. I need to make cat food somehow. So, I'm supposed to get a love letter. Uh, and God. Okay, so now I've got 25 gold. I'm supposed to make cat food somehow. Ooh, probably, probably. Okay, let's see. Uh, I also need to get a hairpin to get to the headmaster's office. 
Sometimes I hear weird noises at night. Rats, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Thanks again for the hot cocoa, man. Okay, let's go up. No, we're not ending the day just yet. God, I thought I explored this place a little more. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's go to the shops real quick. Okay. Plastic cat! He only walked away with the whole fish. Huh. I just saw that golden eye guy with a cat. Is that a real cat? What if it's a summon? Golden eye guy. It's with the dude. You just saw that giant rat just now. I think it was a cat. I wish fairies could help out with the witch hunting cost. I know vampires are more their focus, but still. Hmm. All right. I want to go. I want to go here just to see if there's anything I can get. Uh. Okay. We've already got the cooking recipes, which is great. Uh. Got a bunch of novels, quill paper. I don't have a hairpin or anything. What about this door? Okay. So, I need to get a blue herring. Or could I fish for one? I don't know. Is it? Is it more worth it to fish for it? Because I know I need the hab. I need a hab for sure. The blue herring. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, God damn it. Okay, so I was going to head to the fishing dock to, like, to try fishing for some red herring. But, I mean, blue herring. But, the cat. The cat. Like, right by the shops. There you are. Wait. The cat ran further down. God damn it. Uh, I, need, I need cat food. I need cat food. Cat food is what I need. What? Oh. Hey. See Lyle stroking the cat by his feet. The cat seems happy enough, purring in his arms. Lyle? Lion, what are you doing here? You can't tell which is more skittish, Lyle or the cat. Both look like they're about to jump out of their skin. Unfortunately for you, the cat turned out to be the more skittish one, scrambling to God knows why. Wait, wait, don't! Ah! Damn it. Immediately ran to chase him. Lyle looked sad at the cat's departure. We had up wasting the whole day trying to chase the cat. Turns out you're simply too much for its feline reflexes. Oh. Oh, did I? Did I? No! Oh, I screwed up the kitchen! I knew I needed a cat food! Okay, so I did a bit of fishing, okay? So aside from that one time, like, earlier on in the playthrough where I got the fish. Okay, I, I got the jellyfish and the eel. Okay, um, I bought two more bait, right? And I got the angelfish and a blue herring. It makes more sense to actually just like go fishing rather than buying the, the blue herring. Okay, at least that's my thought. That's my th thought for this so far. Uh, just gonna make an R save. Now all I need to do is get the ham. Okay, let's buy that. Okay, and now, now we can, okay, the cat is still there. Okay, I do want to chat up with some of the other folks though. Oh my God, have you seen Stacy's dad? Total dill. I prefer her mom. All right, then there's this person here. I heard the first year has adverse eyes. It's super creepy. Right, right. Okay, enough of all that. I need to go to potions class. I need to make cat food. Okay, let's see. Uh, cat food, cat food, cat food. Okay. All right, now we make cat food. Uh, let's explore. Uh, is there anything else I need to do around here? I don't think so. Okay, uh, might as well. Do we need to explore anything? Uh, there's a teacher in there. I do not want to go meet Grouch McGrouch. Principal's office, go in. Uh, we need to have a thin hairpin or something. Oh, God, where am I supposed to get a hairpin from? What's upstairs again? Okay, these are classrooms. That's to the guy's uh, lecture hall, and we don't need to go there. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go back to the shops and catch the goddamn cat. There you are. Wait! The cat ran further down. Whatever. Let's go down. Hey. See Lyle stroking the cat. Skip ahead. Wait, no, don't run. I brought treats. For the cat, I mean, not you. The cat slowly approached you, nibbling at the pungent treat. You grabbed him with your jacket, and it snuggled right into your arms. Got you. Your owner is worried sick, you know that? Oh, he already has own. He already has an owner? Yeah, they've been looking all over for him. Why? Did you want to keep him? I did. He, he doesn't run away. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> Others treating you all right? Better fear than fearful. Others treating you all right? I wouldn't know. They all seem to be afraid of me. I understand why, but I'm not my father. Speaking of, is Ivar the Misandrus really your father? Lyle gave a small, reluctant nod. Mr. Asham told me to think of him as just a sperm donor, but still, Lyle doesn't lie. 
You talked to Asham? Yeah, he's nice. He gave me his old school books to use since the librarian wouldn't let me take any. Oh, um, not because of who I am, but because he seems a bit out of it. That librarian, I mean. Yep, sounds about right. Do you mind me asking how you escaped? From your father, I mean. I do mind, actually. I'm sorry, Lion, but with all due respect, I don't know you. Well, you can just call me a Lion, for one. We're roommates. Can we get along and be friends? You offer him your hand, but he just stares at it before running away without a word. Jeez, he really is like a cat. He immediately went and find the cat's owner. She's really grateful for your help. He can't wait to rub it in Asham's face. Quest complete! Wait, that does not end the day. It ends the day! It ends the goddamn day! Okay, I rolled it back. I still have the cat food. We'll feed the cat later. I do want to try going to the village again. Before I can go any further, and non stop seeing your tracks. This is all the same. Okay, okay, fine. Let's go to the lower gardens. Oh, wait, we've already been here. Okay, there's a cat. I'm just gonna activate that real quick. Uh, and I want to go upper gardens. All right, let's chat with you. You see, there's a really cute, but uh, there's a really cute bartender. Okay, I've already seen all this. My hometown is in the dead zone. I still remember when Ivar killed my entire town with just a snap of his fingers. I only got lucky because I was a girl and had blonde hair like him. I know what his- I know that's his type. Blondes, I mean. The dead zone is nothing but endless fields of flowers now. At night, you can hear them cry out in pain. Damn. A cat? Why would there be a cat here? Okay, okay. You're all grouchy. Oh, hey, Lion. Any luck on the cat? Not yet. Same. Where can that critter be? Hope he's okay. Seriously, the owner is so reckless. I can't imagine what would happen if I brought Sir Claw lot to school. I'm guessing that's his cat from the photo Quill sent me. The name suits him well. Well, good luck. You too. Okay, Arena. Okay. A cat? I think I saw one going uh, down the stairs to the shop. What's it towards the library? Right. These folks? You should see the cat just now. I think it went to the library. Ha <laughs> ha! No use asking these two about the cat. Okay. By the way, I saw a cat running towards the shop area. Wonder who brought it here. Right. Okay. Uh, archery field. Soon's talking. You should let him be. How can I get the letter back? Ever, ever tried Tiamo Bakery in town? I know they're technically a family's rivals, but their cakes are so good. Right? They, they can't beat my cake, though. Like, imagine me bringing cake to school. But then again, like, Quill has been bringing all that cake. Anyway, Sparring Field. <sighs> hey, did you saw a cat walk through just now? I think he headed to the gates. Did you see a cat just now? Nearly stepped, nearly stepped the poor t thing's tail off. Okay, uh, we've already been to the fishing port. That, that's already done. Uh, fountain? Is there anything to do with a fountain? Oh yeah, there's a couple of folks. Can't believe we're back in school. Can't wait to graduate. Okay. Tom Tom. Oh, Cor, where can that cat be? Oh, that's the owner. Cat? Yeah, I think I saw one heading to the library. Okay, what about you? Did you see that white thing pass by? I think it headed towards the library. What about you? Have you ever thought of enrolling to a different school? I thought of joining Heth Moore's Academy, but then again, that place is full of vampires and werewolves. I don't think I can survive with that, with all that animosity around. Agreed. But don't they also have Eldritch Horrors? I heard they have a Cthulhu enrolled. I think they prefer the term Dream Eaters, but yes, I heard they're twins. Weirdos, if you ask me. Oh, new conversation topic. So it's a good idea to keep checking every day. Frick! What? Oh, hi, my ex. Notice Asham up by the stairs. He notices you before you went up too far. Any love with the cat? No more than you. Ask about your mother. Hey, Asham. Huh? Some guy in the archery club were, was talking about your mother. Let me guess. He called her a whore. I'll deal with it. It's nothing new. My mother's occupation before her marriage to my stepfather is no secret. Still, I wish they stopped bringing it up. Yeah, they're jealous. They're just trying to bring it down. I know. Still doesn't change the fact that my mother and my questionable parental status is often why the nobles sneer at me. You understand, Lion. Your family isn't exactly like those 
they aren't exactly like those stuck-ups either. Right. I know nothing about nobles or whatever that is. Best to shut up for now. Okay, uh, let's keep chatting around. Have you seen a cat around? Cat? I did see something running down just now. I think I headed to the library. Thanks. All right. First he let that half-breed Ashim in. Now that witch! The school has really gone downhill. Okay. Is Beatrice really dating Herman? Isn't Herman, you know, a nobody? Yeah, Beatrice will have to forfeit her family name if they marry. Bad call. Okay, what about these bumps? So what's your plan after graduation? What else? Kick witch's butt and take names. Okay, we've already seen all this. What's on the right again? Back in church. Uh, you go to the dead zone every winter just to water the plants there. I know they're not human anymore, and my actions mean jack, but still. Okay. Are you still- Ah, I don't want to hear your sermon. Oh, Lady Cor, may you cleanse my sins. Well, I don't think the lady's going to be helping you anytime soon. Okay. Uh, that was the courtyard. Uh, do we need to go- We've already been to the church. Classrooms, I don't think there's anything. Library? Okay, let's see. I can't believe Mr. Hersher asked us to read 120 pages of this stuff. I think I saw a cat chasing Fia just now. She didn't look too happy about it. God damn. Yeah, I'd rather not touch that again. Okay, anything to the right? Oh, Fia. I can talk with my sister. Huh. Cor, I hate these uniforms. Didn't people say Cor fought 100 witches in just a night? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's chat with Fia. That! That! Get away from me! Stay away, fluffy white thing! Fia! You tried snatching the cat into your arms, but it ran away. That! Who brought a cat here? What part of no pets don't they understand? Here. You hand Fia a napkin from your pocket. You used to have one on you at all times when Fia was alive. I guess this line is the same. Thanks. The first year didn't get the memo. I'm trying to catch it before the teachers find out. You? Why? Bet with the boys. It's stupid. Ah, uh, is Quill in on the bet too? Uh, Quill? No, I mean, he he's he's not up for this. Oh well, good, good luck then. That's it? No help or anything? Well, you could make some cat food, I guess. Cat food? Yeah? Don't you already know the recipe? I'm sure Miss Anna won't mind you using the cauldron in her class for a bit. Right, where's the class again? I've literally been there! <clears throat> Where else? Uh, West Wing, second floor. Uh, <laughs> uh, gotta go wash my face. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, I already know that I needed to go see Miss Anna. Like, I'm already done with that. But I might as well check out the classrooms again. What was the far right door? Room graphology. Oh, wait, yeah. No one's here. Okay. We've got no reason to be here, so might as well just... Just go see the cat, shut up with, uh, shut up with the dude, well, there's more people! I believe they led a witch here. What am I doing? Well, keep your lookout on the witch halfway, of course. Oh, they really don't trust him. Anyway, let's end the day, shall we? Yes, who found the cat? Oh, you did? Nice! I thought Ashim did. No, apparently cats and I don't get along. The fluffy monstrosity kept hissing at me. Yep, so that means you two have to do what I say. Fine, fine. What are your orders, my liege? Remember, it's just one favorite each, though. One. I know. I could use it for whatever I want. Well, whenever I want, right? No exceptions? Well, we didn't specify a timeline, so sure. Then I'm going to keep my favorites until I need them. What? So you're just gonna hang them over our heads? Well, I don't want to waste it. A wise choice would have done the same. Why, why, why are there moanings? Before you can add anything more, a very short, enthusiastic moan cuts your sentence short. What was that? Another freshman quills banging. By the sounds of it, I guess he's topping for once. I thought he liked getting pegged. Oi! I really didn't need to know any of that. Neither do we, but Quill isn't exactly private about these things. To be honest, I've been planning to mix his drinks with a potent dose of Boner Be Gone. I could use the six months of quiet time. Uh, and you haven't because? Too time consuming to brew for a mere prank. Well, I have time. 
Can you teach me how to make it? Oh. Ha! Trying to settle things in your own hands? Someone has to. And who better than you? It will be my pleasure, lion. It's quite a complicated potion, but the steps are no different from cooking. You have now learned the potion. Boner, be gone! <laughs> what? Why is that a thing I can do? Lyle, you here? Good, he's not in. You open the drawer and fiddle with the rose Ivar gave you. After taking off your gloves, you notice that, despite its appearance, the petals felt more like human skin than a plant. It's still bleeding. If what Mr. Dietrich said about these flowers are true, then they can still feel pain even in this form. Do I really want to find out the truth that badly? I... I crush it. Here goes. Blood engulfs your hand. As soon as you crush the flower, a new flower blooms with colors even more vibrant than the rose before. It's beautiful. Sadly, I think you disagree, huh? Sorry if I hurt you. I don't feel any different, though. Did Ivor lie? Ah! As soon as you said those words, a sharp pain pierced through your head. You wobbled to your bed and let darkness consume you. Finally giving up? You. Are you actually going to kill me? You! Well, you did say you'd rather die than screw, Palmy. But don't worry. Despite how it looks, I'm trying to help you, my friend. Let's get that parasitic witch out of you, huh? No! Please don't! She, she'll kill me! Do you think that low of me? Need I remind you? Who you're speaking to? I'm Quill Inkwell. Quill. Quill lied to me. As you sit up, strong hands encircle your neck, pinning you back to the bed. You look up and saw Quill with a wild look in his eyes. You found out, didn't you? What? I suppose all of you lions are this way. Far too curious for their own good. <laughs> God damn it! Ah! But anyways, that was Bewitching Sinners. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. That was amazing. Like, holy frick. That was an absolutely amazing visual novel. I, I love the fact that it had like a web comic sort of feel to it. I love the writing. I love the gameplay. It was so freaking fun and nothing, none of the features overstayed their welcome. It was just absolutely perfect. And I hope you guys will enjoy this as much as I did. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.